let us imagine you are working on your computer on your laptop or desktop at your home now to do any work you need some resources some software and hardware resources and some infrastructure let us say you are working on your desktop or laptop or some tablet so you need a machine you also need some operating system running on that machine you need some storage some space so you can store your work and you can save your work we also need some software some applications to work with and even if you are creating new applications or software we still need some platforms and some applications to work with and this is until here you are this is when you are working individually on your own laptop at your home when we talk about organizations and big companies along with all this infrastructure and resources they also need to manage and maintain the servers and all the other it resources and infrastructure now if you have to manage all these infrastructure and all the resources locally you will be responsible for buying all the stuff all the software hardware things you will be responsible for doing all the maintenance upgrades if there are any issues you will be responsible for fixing it so you will be responsible individually if you are working on your system and if a company is managing all this locally they will be responsible for managing maintaining upgrading and troubleshooting all these resources so when you are locally managing everything it is called as on premise computing so on premise means locally managing everything so this is on premise and the reverse of this is cloud computing so let us say when you have to do your work you say that you need some virtual machine or you need some machine with some particular operating system and instead of buying it you say that i will just rent it on the internet a very good example that i also use is i am using a mac operating system i am using a laptop with mac operating system and sometimes for teaching i need to show uh, it on a windows operating system or a windows machine now i have a option that i will buy a new laptop with windows operating system and then i will show it there on windows system or i can just rent a virtual machine with windows operating system online and i can use it and whenever i don't want to use it i can stop it or i can even remove it so i will just use it uh, i will pay as i use and i will use it on the internet i will not own it i will not locally own it i will not have to manage it maintain it or do any kind of upgrades or any kind of troubleshooting i will just rent it on the internet use it and then i can remove or i can stop it similarly if i need some database instead of getting it myself locally and paying for everything i can rent it online similarly some other software and applications and other platforms and other resources and different infrastructure whatever i need i can rent it online and i can use it as i need so this model where we are using the resources the software hardware resources and other infrastructure on the internet as we need it is called as cloud computing now we rarely use a pure cloud computing model or a pure on premise model we today use a mix of both of these for example we may be using our own hardware let us say our laptop or desktop but then the software applications that we need you can be renting it online you can be using it online and you just use it you don't own it you don't manage it for example google docs or gmail so we don't realize a lot of times we are using cloud services like gmail so gmail you are using it as a software you are not owning it you are not maintaining it you are not worried about the servers you are not worried about the storage or the databases you are not worried about the upgrades we don't worry about uh, any if any issue comes we don't worry about troubleshooting we just we are using it and the the service providers will be responsible for maintaining it and managing it okay so this is what cloud computing it is in very easy words now let us understand theoretically cloud computing is the delivery of computing services which can be hardware and software resources over the internet or the cloud so when we refer the cloud it means over the internet and then we don't have to worry about managing and maintaining these services or these uh, hardware software resources locally so we don't have to worry about managing them locally we just use them on the cloud or on the internet now there are different models of cloud computing like infrastructure as a service where we are renting the infrastructure like virtual machines 
then we have platform as a service so platforms are the services that can be used to develop new services or some applications like google app engine microsoft azure app services so these platforms also we can use it online rather than we have to take it locally and then a very good example is today we are using a lot of software on the cloud on the internet like gmail google docs etc so these are software as a service now i have also written a story about this if you go on my website automation stepbystep.com it is here so some time ago if you go to the stories so you can go to this link automation stepbystep.com forward slash stories you will find this mickey and mini stories and if you search for uh, i will search for cloud so you can see there's a story of cloud computing here we have discussed with a conversation between mickey and mini what is cloud computing and we have taken some examples here so this will be very interesting you can read this then there is another story on cloud services so yes this is the one where we have discussed about the cloud services models that is ias pas and saas so here you can see an example of let's say if you own your own car completely you will be responsible for all its maintenance upgrades repairs etc but then you have an option to rent a car you have an option to lease a car you have an option to just take a cab for wherever you want to go and then leave it so that is a very good example of cloud services and then we have these models like infrastructure as a service where you are uh, using the hardware server cpus virtual machines over the cloud as per your need then we have uh, these are the examples of infrastructure as cloud then platform as a service where you, you are using the platforms over the internet as per your need we have examples of this platform as a service here and then software as a service where we are using the software on the cloud on the internet as per we need for example gmail google docs photos salesforce etc so you can read it it will be very interesting so this is what in very very easy words is cloud computing now we have some cloud service providers so all these services all these infrastructure software hardware resources has to be provided by some organizations or some owners of these services and these are called as cloud service providers so some major cloud service providers are aws microsoft azure we have google cloud platform ibm cloud we have oracle cloud and alibaba cloud so these are the some major cloud service providers there are a lot many so this is what cloud computing is i hope this was very useful thank you for watching and never stop learning